This is Dr. Ramji R. Rajendran of the Alexian Brothers Medical Center in Elk Grove Village. Today, I'm here to talk to you about stereotactic radiosurgery and stereotactic body radiotherapy, otherwise called SBRT. What is stereotactic radiosurgery and how is it used? First of all, it's important to know that this is not surgery. There is no cutting, no sewing, and no anesthesia. This is actually precisely targeted radiation that is delivered at much higher doses than traditional radiation therapy while sparing healthy tissue and organs nearby. Stereotactic radiosurgery is used for patients who cannot tolerate traditional surgery. It's also useful for tumors that are difficult to remove. It involves the safe treatment with careful coordination of multiple people, including a radiation oncologist, a physician that's trained to deliver radiation treatment, a radiation therapist who is in charge of using the treatment machine itself, and a dosimetrist or physicist who's in charge of planning the radiation treatment that is to be delivered. Stereotactic radiosurgery is used in the brain for tumors, both benign and malignant, arteriovenous malformations, which are a tangle of expanded blood vessels that disrupt normal flow in the brain that can bleed, as well as other neurologic conditions. Here is an example of a focused dose of radiation treatment delivered to part of the brain in stereotactic radiation treatment. Stereotactic body radiation treatment is currently used to treat tumors in the body, including in the lung, the liver, the abdomen or belly, the spine, prostate gland, and in head and neck. Here's an example of a high dose of radiation delivered to part of the lung, represented in the colored region seen in all three slides in different perspectives. How does this procedure work? It involves the planning and delivery phases. In the planning phase, you will be placed in a comfortable, reproducible, and stable position, sometimes with the aid of devices such as sponges and styrofoam molds. Tumor imaging is also very important, and you will have a CAT scan to delineate the exact location of the target within the body that accounts for organ motion of the tumor, as well as other imaging, including an MRI or PET scan, which is fused to the CT. Planning of the treatment involves multiple beams that are focused on the tumor target. For the delivery of the treatment, you will again be placed in a comfortable, reproducible, and stable position, and then highly focused gamma ray or x-ray beams that converge on a tumor or abnormality will be used for treatment. Image-guided radiation therapy, or IGRT, uses medical imaging to confirm the location of a tumor immediately before or during delivery of radiation to further improve the precision and accuracy of the treatment. There are three kinds of treatment delivery machines for delivering stereotactic radiosurgery and stereotactic body radiotherapy. The gamma knife is used primarily in the brain and upper spinal cord. Linear accelerators are used both in the brain as well as for stereotactic body radiotherapy. And the proton beam or heavy charged particles can be used either in the brain or for stereotactic body radiotherapy. More information can be obtained from radiologyinfo.org about each of these different delivery machines. Finally, to review, stereotactic radiosurgery and stereotactic body radiotherapy are not surgery. They are precisely delivered radiation treatment to treat diseased areas in the brain or body. And there are multiple ways of delivering treatment. For further information, please refer to other sections of radiologyinfo.org. Thank you. Recorded February 2011. For more information and updates, please visit radiologyinfo.org.